Greater Anglia is a train company in the UK which operates regional and commuter services in the east of England, serving many coastal and commuter towns to the capital through five categories of routes. The Great Eastern routes, West Anglia, Intercity, Regional and the Stansted Express. The main route is its Intercity route between London Liverpool Street and Norwich, which covers 115 miles in about 1 hour and 46 minutes, calling at 148 stations in total, of which 146 are step free to some degree, and 134 of these stations are operated and run by Greater Anglia. This is done via numerous key services, so let's start at its London terminus, London Liverpool Street. From here we have 3 trains an hour heading to South End Victoria via Shenfield, of which one calls at Romford. There are also trains every 40 minutes or three trains every two hours between Wickford and Southminster. It should be noted one early morning train carries on further to Shenfield and there's also a peak service to and from Liverpool Street. There is an hourly service to Colchester Town from Liverpool Street with some early peak services calling at stations along the way. And on the Sunshine Coastline, we have an hourly service to Clacton-on-Sea with some early peak services also calling out Romford and Hyde, for example. There is also an hourly service between Colchester and Walton on the Nays, and some early morning trains also run between Thorpe and Walton. And there is also a shuttle service once an hour between Colchester and Colchester Town. Back at Liverpool Street, we have two trains a day heading to Harwich International at 6.45 and 9.02 in the evening. There will then also be an hourly service from Manningtree to Harwich Town calling at all stations. One service operates one stop further to Colchester at 7 in the morning. There is also an hourly service to Ipswich from London Liverpool Street calling at stations such as Shenfield, Chelmsford, Witham and Colchester. Similarly, there is also an hourly service to Braintree from Liverpool Street on the branch line with some services starting earlier at Witham and Chenfield in the early hours or late mornings. To finalise the Great Eastern routes, we have a shuttle service between Marks Tay to Sudbury once an hour. Now covering Great Anglia's intercity service, there's only one, the service between London and Norwich. There is a semi-fast service, which stops hourly at Stratford, Chelmsford, Colchester, Manningtree, Ipswich, Stowmarket and Dis, I think. There is also an hourly faster service stopping at less stations. Moving further north to Ipswich, we have an hourly service to Felixstowe, which is nice and short. And there's also an hourly service to Lowestoft from Ipswich on the East Suffolk line. From Norwich, we have a variety of services. The first is a stopping service once every two hours, calling at most stations towards Lowestoft on the ferry line. There is also a faster service alternating once every two hours and these services vary at peak times as well, so it's a bit hit and miss. There are also services to Great Yarmouth generally once an hour, although this will increase to two during summer on certain days, and there's also two limited trains a day heading via Burnie Arms in each direction. Also from Norwich, we have a shuttle service to Cromer and Sherrington generally once an hour, and there is also a once hourly service heading via Cambridge to Stansted Airport. Although it should be noted that some services terminate early at Cambridge, mainly during the morning and evening peaks, with some stations between Ely and Norwich also seeing only one or two trains a day. Heading back to London, Stratford specifically, we have an hourly slower service to Bishop Stortford via Lee Bridge, and there's also a slightly quicker one every hour. There is also a service every 30 minutes, so two trains an hour from Stratford to Meridian Water. And during the peak and evening hours only, there are services from Stratford to Hereford East via Lee Bridge. The first train of the day at 6am starts even further at Liverpool Street. Probably one of the more popular routes would be London to Cambridge, where we see two trains an hour. One is a slower stopping service, while the other is a slightly faster service. And during peak and evening hours only, there are four to five trains in each direction heading further to Ely. During winter, there used to be one train a day to Kings Lynn, but that looks to have stopped in the summer timetable. Greater Anglia also serves Stansted Airport, where there's a half hourly express service from Liverpool Street. Stansted Mount Fitchett is served only once an hour. The final service out of the capital is a slightly more frequent half hourly service to Hereford East via Tottenham Hale. I do know that there used to be fast services at peak hours via Seven Sisters 
and some early morning trains to Cambridge and Sandstead, but these aren't in the timetable, so keep your eyes peeled. Last two routes now, so bear with. One is a once every two hour service from Ipswich to Peterborough, with an early morning service starting at Colchester. And finally, we have the Ipswich to Cambridge service, which runs once every hour with Kennet and Dallingham rotating once every two hours. There is, an also, there is also a very early 552 service which extends further to Harrit. These are based on the summer timetable and are due to be released officially on the 21st of May, so there may be some slight changes to what I've mentioned. An anytime single between London and Liverpool Street and Norwich will set you back £81 with an anytime return costing £131. There are three main depots on the route, including one at Ilford, one at Clacton on Sea, and the other at Crown Point near Norfolk. The Greater Anglia franchise is a relatively simple one. Once British Rail services operating out of Liverpool Street were privatised in January 1997, they were divided up into three train operating companies Anglia Railways, First Great Eastern, and West Anglia Great Northern. In December 2001, the Strategic Rail Authority announced its plans to combine all of these services and create one franchise called Greater Anglia. And on the 1st of April 2014, initially under the brand name One, National Express began operations until February 2012. From here, a new tender happened and Abellio won the next term from the 5th February 2012 to the 15th of October 2016. Greater Anglia was rebranded as Abellio Greater Anglia in December 2013 and this is the logo here. The franchise then changed names to the East Anglia franchise due to many routes on the Lee Valley lines being handed out to Transport for London, who now run the Overground services. As a result, the East Anglia franchise was re-tendered out and awarded to Abellio in August 2016, who are scheduled to run it until September 2026. They currently own at least 205 trains according to their website and include a variety of electric multiple units including the Aslam and the Statler Flirts as well as some bi-mode multiple units as well running the longer distance lines. Other future developments include a new station at Cambridge South, hopefully all the planning permission goes through for that, as well as others listed in their franchise agreements. And these include extending of the Gainsborough line from Marks Tay to Colchester Town, reintroducing four services direct to Lowestoft, and also increasing frequencies on a variety of routes, including Ipswich to Ely and from Ipswich to Cambridge. Anyway, head to my community page to vote for your next operator, and I'll see you next time. Oh.